In Philippians chapter 2 verse 5, the Bible says, Let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus, who, being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, and took upon him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of men. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Christ humbled himself as far down as any human being can ever be humbled. This was the same person who said, let there be light. We are reading about Christ's voluntary act of humbling himself when he came in human form, which was necessary for him to save us. If the creator of heaven and earth, the mighty God, the one who said, let there be light, let there be a firmament, who is responsible for life in every form, if he can humble himself, surely he must require of you and me that we be humble. Why is that? Because the Bible says, let us make man in our image. Christ the Creator did not learn to be humble. Humility has always been a quality of God. Why is that? Because one of the fruits of the Spirit is meekness, and meekness is humility. God has always been humble. God has always been meek. It was demonstrated in an astonishing way when the mighty God the Creator took human form and came to this earth. My listening friend, your Savior, your Creator, humbled himself. He requires that you and I be humble in all that we do. The order of creation teaches us that we have no basis for glorying or for boasting. Humanity was made last of everything God created. Therefore, Adam and Eve had no basis to glory, to brag, or to vaunt themselves. They were last when they opened their eyes. Everything needed had already been in place. Therefore, God was to be the object of their glorying and their praise and their honor. My dear friend, in all that you do, remember your Creator. He humbled Himself. As you keep the Sabbath holy, remember that the last work of creation was the making of man and woman, which meant they had no participation in the glorious work of creation. You and I have no basis for glorying, but in the cross of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you, doubly bless your children, as you keep the Sabbath holy.